Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast of the U.S. indices indices for Monday, November 9th, 2020. So I waited by to um, make this video uh, because I expected an announcement for the U.S. election, who basically won the, uh, the election, and of course, the Joe Biden won the election. And uh, of course, we don't know how the market will react to that news and therefore i want to do basically wait in order to do this video so there's uncertainty there is basically will we rally to the upside will we rally to the downside um there are uh, there are uh, probably good things uh, the, the things that is that is that he does not have control of congress so many of the reforms that he basically wanted to do he's not be going to be able to do so he will do the things that he uh, he can do, and that is technically focus on the coronavirus, uh, focusing on the economy, getting relief to the economy, and so on. So those things are all bullish for this market. Uh, it's just a question whether or not we are at at a point in the market uh, where we are technically overstretched or reaching major um, resistance. So if you look at S&P 500, then we, have, we are trading uh, in the range of 3,200 and at the top here at 3,588 uh, there about. And at this point, we are around 3,509. 3, so we're at, basically at this top here. Um, it, we are showing sign of weakness, but um, not everywhere. So technical indicators for, for this are fairly bullish still so it may well be that we are going to test these highs again we didn't reach them or test the very highs uh, we had a massive uh, rally in the s p 100 and all the indices uh, last week so uh, a, a, a pullback from here uh, we will find major support at the 50 moving average and that is around three percent down at the 3400 level a break below that opens the door to uh, to uh, the 100 moving average at uh, 5% underneath that, and then to these very lows, which is 7.6% lower than that, and that is 3,200, something like that. So I would technically wait there, uh, basically to see how the market reacts to the news that we have a new uh, U.S. president, or are going to have a new U.S. president. Don't expect Donald Trump to do any sort of work. He's probably going to play golf for the next two months and uh, just uh, rage on Twitter. And that, of course, will not be good. So there's a lot of uncertainty. And if there's something that Wall Street doesn't like, it is technically uncertainty. Technical indicators for, for the S&P 100 are, they are still fairly bullish, apart from the CCI. CCI is technically turning around, and this is usually the first indicator that is going to turn around. So keep that in mind. So if we look at the Dow Jones. We can see that it's very similar. We're trading in lows at 26 and then highs of 29. And we are not at the top, but we are showing signs of weakness. And these indicators are are, are not looking as good as for the S&P 100. The CCI is turning around, the, CAS, the, RS, uh, the RSI is turning around, the, MAC, the MACD is fairly bullish, but the, C, the stochastic is turning around, and that could be a sign that we're heading towards the 50 moving average first at uh, 27.9, uh, or if you get rid of this, or that we are going back to these very lows. So... It's just a matter of, of waiting to see what basically happened. How, what the opening and in Monday session will give a very clear indication how the market will react to the news that we have a new U.S. president. It may well be that we will rally significantly more and break these very highs. That is also possible, but at this moment we just don't know. So if you look at the Nasdaq. Nasdaq also rallied significantly uh, uh, yes, in last week's session. We rallied from these lows to the very highs. That is around 
5.2% in one week. That is enormous. But we did reach these highs. So we did reach these in pre previous highs and then turn around. Uh, it looked like we were going to hit the go towards the 50 moving average, but we rallied at the end of the session on Friday. Technical indicators for the, the NASDAQ are mixed. CCI is turning around. The RSI is looking much weaker. MACD is, positive, is bullish. The singles are just stochastic. But the Bollinger Band is basically hitting the top of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, if we pull back, we pull back towards the 50 moving average. And if that breaks, then the 100 moving average is as, as low as this market will go. Um, so... Buying opportunity is here at the 50. Buying opportunity here is at the 100. Um, so, yes, we'll just have to see what happens when the markets open. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Uh, thank you and good luck.